Welcome to this walkthrough of easyvirtualchoir.com. I hope this is a fun way of making music with people, uh, even across big distances. Uh, so let me talk about what you need first. If you do any you know, Zoom calls with a computer, whether it's a laptop or a desktop, uh, you are well set because you've got a computer and you've got a microphone to capture your voice and you've got a video to capture your image and if you pair that with the Google Chrome web browser which uh, is available for free uh, you can get working on this right away for free uh, if you don't have Google Chrome uh, you can easily download that for free from the internet uh, you if you need to use a tablet or a smartphone however uh, there are apps now available for those, which is exciting. Uh, those cost a couple dollars, a few dollars, um, but I think it's worth it. And, um, yeah, the pair of headphones would be the other object that would be really great to have. Uh, and the purpose of that is so that when you record yourself and add it to the project, you're only adding the sound that you are personally making and not the sound of the computer uh, in the music that you're hearing, but you can just hear that in your ears. So, once you have that and you've gotten your link to the project uh, and you've signed in to Easy Virtual Choir with the Google account, uh, you just start following the blue buttons. Okay, so it's a song studio, and that's like going into the recording studio. All right, now we're in here. What do we do? Just keep following the blue buttons. Add track. Okay, now what's going to happen here is it's automatically going to turn your camera on and here we are. Yep. And right over here it places uh, automatically the first track for you to listen to in your headphones while you record yourself. Now there's another option. You can add a few other tracks and in this case I'm going to want to add this lead track for this song because Track one is instrumental, but track two is is the singer, and it's going to help me know where to sing. And this one I can retitle myself. I'm going to say, I'm going to try some harmony for this one. Okay. Um, I'm going to press start recording over here when I'm ready. Don't worry, you can record multiple times. Uh, you don't have to choose your first take. And even if you do it, you can decide later. So let's just start recording and see how what happens here. Okay, we're gonna clap gonna three clap. times. Go. All right, ready? Go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mama. Happy Right, that was fun. <laughs> so it might take you a few times to get used to it and feel comfortable. You can play it back for yourself just to hear how it was and try it again as many times as you want. Um, so you need to go to the next step though. You can't just leave it there. You have to either press discard and try again or add to song. This time I'm just going to add it to the song. And again, don't worry. You can still take it away at a later step if you need to. So right now we have this one over here added to the song. If you get this far, that is wonderful. Uh, you've added yourself to the project and you can just relax and wait for the person who's in charge of the project to deliver the final composite video to you. That's great. Uh, if you want to watch the rest of this video, I'm going to show you some of the editing things that you can do um, if you want. So Here's the edit mode over here. I'm going to turn that on by clicking it. Okay, edit mode. Now, the main things you can do here are if you listen to it again and you really don't like it, you can take it away <laughs> by clicking the X and that'll delete your whole video. Uh, you can mute the audio or mute the video.
video, that is, not have the video appear. Um, but don't worry about that. Let's just go to this master volume. You can see how it's adjusting the volume levels of each thing. When you have a lot of submissions, it's going to quickly become way too loud. So you're going to want to drop everyone's volume so that it has a good balance in the end. So I'm going to do this for now. And I'm going to click Save. Uh, but the really interesting thing is this. The black button, Realign Tracks. And this is the reason we did clapping at the beginning. So let me show you what that's about. What it does is it automatically puts the track one in here and over here it allows you to select one of the other tracks so you want to want to select your track that you did now here what what you can do what you want to do next is go to render audio waves this is going to show you a picture of the sound that you make up here is the representation of the sounds in reference track and here's the representation of the sounds that you made. I'm going to play Let's it through it. a little bit. Let's see okay, what happens. Okay, we're going to clap so three clap. times. Go! Great. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. And we want to get to this point, the claps. You see how my claps are a little bit later. Now, I think that's not because I was clapping poorly. I think that's because of what we all have to deal with here is internet latency and it's going to be different for everybody and it's different at different times and that's why this is such an important tool otherwise people are going to be off by milliseconds and it's not good so see I'm clicking these buttons and if I click that too much the claps you know are off the other way so I want to just line it up as best I can so, you know, something like this is probably pretty good, vertically matched up. I do need to save it, save new alignment. All right, now let's see how this sounds. Are our claps together? Okay, we're going to clap three times, go! Hey, that's pretty good. Let's listen to the rest of it for fun. Okay, so I obviously need to go back and adjust the volume again. That was too soft, but we can do that. We can go back to edit mode and adjust the volumes. No problem. Maybe I'd actually just bring the piano down. Uh, and again, save edits. Edit saved, wonderful. So what do we do now? Uh, the whole point is to create one video with everybody together. And to do that, we go to export song. Again, this is available only in edit mode. Export song. Okay. And I'm going to click begin export. Um, what you see over here is a video I previously exported. Ignore that. It's going to update it for the one that we have just made here. Okay. Just wait a little bit and it'll come up. When it comes up, we'll notice that we have an option to download it. And we will also have an option to share the song over here with a, by sharing the link or these other ways. So very handy way of sharing the, the project with anyone you like. And uh, That's here. so here it is all together. Oh. Go. Happy birthday to you. Okay, so you can just picture this whole screen populated with faces of people you were excited to collaborate with. Um, so that's uh, Introduction to Easy Virtual Choir. Hope you have a wonderful time with this.